H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. There is a pass and fail criteria. Whenever the testing is done, there are two possibilities. Either the testing can pass or the testing can fail. Now in what kind of scenarios it has to be marked as pass or fail is decided by the test lead. Then the suspension criteria. This is a criteria to decide to stop the testing. Stop in the sense not to stop permanently, but temporarily we are putting a hold on the testing process. For example, when the AUT has failed the build acceptance testing, AUT means it is application under test. The software that is currently being tested has failed the build acceptance testing. Acceptance testing means it is an initial level testing wherein we check if the software is ready for the detailed testing. If there is a change request, from whom do we receive the change request? Obviously from the client. If the client is requesting for any kind of changes, then the developer will have to develop the new version of the software and there is no purpose for us to test the old version. So we need to wait till the new version of the software is released by the developers. Delay in publishing the input documents. Now tell me one thing participants, do you think all the testers in the team will be performing the same activity? Do you think you perform the same activities? You will not, it's a testing team. Everybody will be assigned with the different roles and responsibilities. Some of you might have to create the test documents on the different modules of the software that are assigned to you. Some of you will have to do the testing and defect reporting. So we are basically sharing the work among us and completing the testing process. Now let's say there are some testers in the team who write the test documents and some of them would be testing the software using those test documents. So you may be assigned with the task of testing, but you don't receive the test documents on time. So what you have to do, you'll have to stop your testing process. If you don't receive the test documents on time by the other testers in the team, you may have to suspend the testing process. Based on input validation, you receive the test documents, but then the test documents have some errors and then they are not usable. So you may have to stop the testing. Whenever you come across any kind of the scenarios that are mentioned here, you need to update the test lead regarding this one so that the test lead can resolve the issue and the testing could be further continued. This is called as a suspension criteria. Please go through this and let me know if you have any questions. These are some of the questions that I have noted from the chat box. This is not used cases. These are called as use cases. Use cases will give you the information on the behavior of the software. These are the documents that are created by the business analyst, which will try to describe the feature, the behavior of the feature basically and it will show you the interactions between the different modules or the components of the software. The build acceptance testing. Before we start with the actual testing process, the testing that has to be done in detail, we have to do some initial level testing, wherein we simply try to click on the links, buttons and make sure that everything is active. We try to open the different pages so it is some quick testing that we are doing to make sure that the software is ready for the testing process. Yes, of course, Pankaja, I will send it to you. When you say the criteria is going to decide, what do you mean exactly? See, based on the criteria means based on these scenarios, Zira, we are trying to decide whether we have to stop the testing process. 
it's not a person okay criteria is a condition it's a scenario what is input validation now for example the testing is to be done and then we have to make sure that whatever documents that we have received from the other testers in the team it should not contain any kind of errors and we call it as an input validation so the test document is created on the basis of the brd document and the use cases we'll discuss about it how the test documents are created in the future pass and fail criteria mithali whenever we do the testing of the software there are two possibilities either the testing can pass or it can be failed so under what kind of scenarios it has to be marked as passed or failed it will be mentioned here under this pass and fail criteria section what is the difference between validation and verification validation is quality assurance process verification is quality control process so in the quality assurance we do the testing plus defect reporting we need not fix the defects here verification means it is testing plus error correction means whatever errors are identified during the testing have to be fixed up right away tcd means it is a test case document more about this we will discuss in the future classes what information does a test lead require to start working on this test document the main document that you would be using is the business requirement document using the business requirement document and also if you have the specification document available you can start the preparation of the test plan document could you explain the application under test if the software that is currently being tested when there is a change in the request even the test plan has to be changed accordingly and create a new test plan yes we have to create a new test plan and we'll have to update the version number over there suspension is always taken care by the team lead yes it has to be taken care by the team lead can you explain again based on input validation now let's say we have received the test documents from the other testers in the team but in case if there are any kind of errors in the document we may have to stop the testing explain aut is failed in the build acceptance testing now if the software the application under test means it's a software which has failed in the initial level testing we cannot use it for the further testing we need to wait till the developer has fixed all the defects build acceptance testing is same as the smoke testing yes it is same as the smoke testing so this was a test plan document and then there is further part of the document which we will continue in tomorrow session in tomorrow session we will discuss the further part of the test plan document to give you a quick review of what we discussed in today's class we started with the meaning of software and then the meaning of testing the different ways of testing the dif uh, members the different members in the testing team the steps that are to be followed in the software testing life cycle and we are discussing the test plan document as of now which we will complete it in tomorrow session now some quick questions participants can you tell me who creates the test plan document who creates the test plan document it is the test lead it's a test lead who creates the test document what could be the reference documents for writing the test document the brd or the specification document could be used for the preparation of the test plan document all right so we'll continue this test plan document tomorrow i will send the materials and recordings to all of you in the email you can check your emails after 30 minutes tomorrow we are meeting at the same time 11:30 am eastern all the participants please make sure that you join with the same session link no session on friday friday there is no session i'm not sure zila i have to check it test manager nilanjana the level of the test manager comes above the test lead the test lead will actually lead the group 
lead a group of testers but then there are many such groups that are actually led by the test manager okay all right so we will meet tomorrow participants at the same time if you have more questions in case i have missed any of your questions please send it to my email my email address is priyatesh2kinfosys.com thanks everybody and good day